So Sean Strickland has got the title shot against Drikas Duplessis instead of Hamzat Chimeyev, and this has led to some back and forth on Twitter, to say the least. I'm going to give my opinion on this matchup in the first part of the video. This is now the new main event of UFC 312. We were wondering what the main event is going to be. We have to wonder no longer. It's the rematch between Duplessis and Strickland. But this has led to some back and forth on Twitter, which I'm also going to cover in today's video, because Hamzat Chimeyev has been relentlessly going after Sean Strickland, okay? Tagging the complete wrong account. He also targeted Sean Strickland's father as well, um, which seems to be a common target for Sean Strickland's opponents, it seems. Uh, Sean Strickland then responded to Hamza Chimeyev, and they've been going back and forth. And I guess Drikas Duplessis felt left out of all of this Twitter back and forth. So he decided to take his trash talking to what can only be described as the Twitter streets, and he just went off on a bunch of people that were like trashing him on Twitter and started replying to them, going after him back. And I'm going to go through some of those as well, because there's a really funny one towards the end, and I'll probably be giggling through all of it. Either way, Drickus Duplessis versus Sean Strickland 2, the rematch, UFC 312. A lot of people are wondering why this title fight was made. Hamza Chimeyev just absolutely blitzed through uh, Robert Whittaker by submission in the first round. Really, really easy win for Hamzat Chimeyev. Very, very impressive. Got a ton of hype. Everyone was like, forget Sean Strickland's performance against Paulo Costa where he won a split decision, which a lot of people think was a robbery, but it was a much closer fight than people think. Not a robbery, but a lot of people think that the scorecard to Paulo Costa was crazy. And I think that Sean Strickland did win the fight, but it was a very, very close fight, by the way. And not too eventful either, other than the last 15 seconds. So a lot of people are like, Strickland's been waiting, sat on his ass not doing anything, acting like he does, he's going to get the title shot anyway. And Hamzat Chimeyev went out there and absolutely destroyed Whitaker. It's what have you done for me lately? Give Hamzat Chimeyev the title shot. Why is Strickland getting it? It was a very competitive first fight. Extremely, extremely competitive first fight. It's so funny how things can change. Hamzat Chimeyev beats Whitaker, and the entire MMA fan base, who were before crying about the idea of Strickland not getting a title shot, have immediately abandoned the idea of Strickland getting a title shot, and now they don't like him getting a title shot, even though these were the same people screaming and crying robbery in the first place. I get it, though. Chimeyev has been fresher on the mind because of what he did. But um, Sean Strickland gets the title shot. It's a great fight. Looking forward to it. Why, though? That's the question. Also, this has been announced, by the way. Zhang Weili versus Tatiana Suarez. Which is a good fight. That's going to be the co-main event. It's good to see Zhang Weili once a year. Keeping up that uh, that routine that she does. See you at the uh, start of 2026 after this one, I guess, Zhang Weili. Either way, Drickers Duplessis clarified why he got the title shot. I'll give my opinion on this as well. Just for clarification, I preferred the Hamzat fight. But the rematch is the fight most wanted before Hamzat versus Whitaker. I'm not unhappy with the UFC's decision. Like I said, I'll fight the fat... I'll fight the man that fans think is the next best guy. He was promised the fight, so Strickland it is. I reckon that this is why the UFC have given the fight to Strickland. I reckon they genuinely did sit him down and promise him while he was crying to them about the decision. And, oh, I got robbed. And, Here's a fucking thing, you guys. I got fucking robbed. And I need the title shot for you fucking guys, dude. I'm sure he was in the fucking office screaming and shouting and crying about it. And the UFC were like, we'll give you the title shot. We'll give you the title shot. You'll get the rematch. He didn't end up getting it. They did the Adesanya fight. Adesanya wasn't coming off a win at the time and immediately got another title fight after another loss, even though he had already gotten his immediate rematch against Alex Pereira. And Strickland had to fight Paulo Costa. I'm sure the UFC literally said to him, we promise we're not going to skip you over because I don't think this is a case where it's like, oh, they're just going with the star that talks a bunch of trash. Sean Strickland is a big name. But Hamzat Chimeyev, 78k likes on a tweet at Sean Strickland with 6.4 million views. There's another one here, like 4.2 million views, another post that he did. Hamzat Chimeyev is a superstar. So I don't think it's just, ah, uh, they're just giving it to the trash-talking American guy that's the star. This should be about merit. I think they are considering all things. And they're saying, listen, Strickland was the champ. We said we would give him a rematch. We didn't. We feel bad. He then fought Polo, Polo Costa. We promised him again that we would give him a fight against Drikas Duplessis. 
So they're just going to live up to that. I genuinely think this is the UFC trying to do right by Strickland because they promised him he would get a title shot. Either way, let's get into some of the trash talk. But let me break down who I think is going to win before I get to that. I think Drickus wins over Sean Strickland in a rematch. I think, even though Drickus Duplessis is a weird, goofy style that you have to kind of fight to understand, it's still extremely dangerous no, man, no matter how many times you go up against it because he has the finishing potential advantage over Sean Strickland. And that was kind of shown in the difference between their Adesanya fight. Even though it might not have looked as clean on the side of Drickus Duplessis in his performance, um, the finishing potential was there. And that's an advantage that he's going to have over Sean Strickland in this fight. I don't see Strickland finishing Drickus Duplessis under any circumstances. Maybe. Maybe he does. But after seeing Drickus go five hard rounds with him, other than gassing out Drickus Duplessis, how is Sean Strickland going to finish him? And we just found out that he can't gas out Drickus Duplessis. So I think Drickus has the advantage there. I think Strickland, when it comes to rematches, I think his style is a bit more simple than Drickus is, but it's also a style that once you've fought once, you can understand it a bit more. You kind of have to go through it to understand. And um, I think Drickus Duplessis is going to do well in this rematch. I think he's hungrier. I think he's just got here to the top. Sean Strickland's been there before. I know he's been a... He's, he's not really got the title before, but he's been around in the sport a lot longer than Drickus Duplessis. Drickus is going to be the more likely fighter to make an evolution in his game at this point, to be making those improvements going into a rematch. And I think his mindset is going to be a lot better in this one as well. Sean Strickland's going to be going into this with the impression of, I really won that first fight. I got robbed. You know what I mean? This is wrong. UFC gave me a title shot because I. Uh, he's a fake champion. He's going to have this mindset going into the fight, whereas Drickus is going to have the mindset of, I'm a champ. I won. Time to win again. You know what I mean? It's going to be less... There's going to be less emotion in this matchup for Drickus Duplessis than there is Strickland. And if Drickus insults his dad again, there's going to be even more emotion for Sean Strickland and, the, and even more frustration as well. Going into a fight frustrated and emotional against Drickus Duplessis, you make mistakes under those conditions. And if you make mistakes against Drickus, you typically get finished. So... Let's move on. I've also got Tatiana Suarez over Zhang Wei Li, by the way. I think she's going to be... I didn't. I think Zhang Wei Li is regressing in skill. I think she looked really good at one point in her career, but in her last two fights, I'm not seeing the same Zhang Wei Li, especially in the Yan Zhao Nan one. I think Tatiana Suarez can do the things necessary to win that one. Either way. Let's move on. Hamzat's going to be in the area, so he's probably going to be the backup opponent anyway because he's already in Australia on a tour around that time, which I'm assuming is planned by all parties involved. Um, so he's going to be the backup opponent, I would imagine. Sean Strickland responded to him after Chimeyev went on a spree of, where are you, Strickland? 78k likes, 6.4 million views. I mean, the bare minimum some of these guys have to do to get this level of interaction is insane. And he's got a golden AK-47. It actually looks like an AK-74U. I played Black Ops 1. Um, AK-74U was a, a gun you were able to buy off the wall as you exited out the left of Kino de Toten. And, and the mystery box was right there above it on the wall was the AK-74U. Great pack a punch And by the looks of things, this is pack a punch as well. Either way. Um, this uh, Hamza Chimeyev getting a bunch of interactions on things. He's saying, it's okay, bro. Ha ha. No meaning to any of it, but it doesn't really need to be. 44k likes, 4.2 million views. Sen Strickland. Anyone not named Sean Strickland and not actually Sean Strickland is being tagged by Hamzat Chimeyev. I mean, they might be tricking him. Strickland has deceived him with the profile picture, it seems. <laughs> so he's intentionally tagging all of the wrong accounts. <coughs> then he mocks Sean Strickland's style again saying good luck in the title fight with this style. I mean, he had a good fight the first time, but, you know, we're mocking Sean Strickland's fight style, another 25k likes. And then he said this. Cine Strickland, who is not Sean Strickland, by the way, and he's a completely different person, um, completely, to be honest with you. Um, this is your father. To be honest, it's more likely the owner of this account's father than it is Sean Strickland, unless this is a meme that I've not understood. It probably is a meme. I think I've seen this meme before. Either way, he's called Sean Strickland's dad P, did he? Not Diddy P. That's, that's the guy Sean Strickland's fighting. 
Um, the white version of P. Diddy is Diddy P. Either way, now I'm joking though. No. P. Diddy. <laughs> Strickland's going to cry. This is, uh, <laughs> this is just... He's going to cry again. And it's just way... It's, it's entering boundaries that... This is tear territory, okay? Where tears will be streaming down the cheeks of Sean Strickland. And then he even said this, who is this, G? And just posted a picture of Sean Strickland when he had long hair and was smoldering, I guess, in this picture. Weak beard genetics, by the way. Either way, starts going after Sean Strickland. Strickland responds, I love how come shot, taking Covington's lines, let's be real, all good. You should try taking McGregor's lines. They're great. Either way. Um, I love how come shot will try to talk shit to me. Bro, you are not a man. Character level fucking dog shit. Crypto scams. Hoard yourself out to Kadyrov for cars. Fled to the Middle East when the pimp hand got too strong. Stay in your lane, Swedish man. Now, I have a very strong opinion about this, okay? There's a few other things that we can go over first, but when it comes to the hoard yourself out to Kadyrov thing, I don't like Strickland for this. But, bro, you're not a man. Character level fucking dog shit, whatever. He's doing a character thing, trying to get the fight. It is what it is. Crypto scams, I agree. Shouldn't have done the crypto scam. Absolute bullshit. Fuck Hamzat Chimea for that. This is the crazy part, though. Hoard yourself out to Kadyrov for cars. What? Sorry, are you suggesting that you would deny the orders of a dictator, Sean Strickland, if you were in Hamzat Chimeyev's shoes? I've never understood this. I've made jokes about it, because I will always make jokes about things I don't understand. It's the best way to go about things in the online world. Either way, Kadyrov is a ruthless guy, a dictator. He, he will have people killed. You know what I mean? Allegedly. I don't know if I'm the next target. Um, but he will go about things that way. Hamza Chimeyev has family members still there around Kadyrov. You can't... I, I just think it's the most Western soy bullshit privileged thing to insult someone for merely going along with what the very ruthless leader of their country wants to do. It's the most bullshit thing. Like... Stricklander can sit on here all day and insult the president of his country and the people in charge of his country. And nothing will happen to Sean Strickland other than a couple of fucking gay lords online getting angry about it. Other than that, though, depending on who he insults, by the way, there might be some gay lords online supporting him if he goes after Trump. Either way. Hoard yourself out to Kadyrov. I don't understand why this is an insult. Is Sean Strickland really suggesting if he was born in Chechnya? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I would defy the orders of Kadyrov because I'm a man. Come on, this is bullshit. Hamza Chimeyev has to go along with some things. It's a tough reality that he has to live. I just, I just disagree with this. Slandering him for something that you would obviously do in the same situation. You're from California. You know what I mean? Like he's from Chechnya. It's a very different political landscape, Sean Strickland. Very different. Either way. Um, stay in your lane, Swedish man. It is what it is. Chimeyev, of course, said all this. Then Drickus. After saying this time they won't call it a robbery, they'll call it attempted murder. Different crime, okay? Different crime on the line. After saying this, I guess Dricka saw the two of them go back and forth and felt very left out. And I'm going to go through some of these tweets today at the end of this video. And uh, it ends in a great way. Because people have been going at Drickus in the responses and stuff, and he's been res responding. So he said, we know the UFC coerced you into taking this fight. Some of them are nice, and he's just responded. You're one of the few champs left with actual credibility. You made it clear you want to fight your division's best. We just lost Ilya Tapuria to the fraud virus. Because he said he wants to move up a division. You, Islam, and Bilal are the only three real champs left. Agree, but not Bilal. He sucks. I also agree, but you missed out Tom Aspinall. Come on, let's be honest here. And Alejandro Pantoja. What's Pantoja? Pantoja ran for his whole division. Either way, forgettable name. I get it. Agree, but not Bilal, he sucks. Hamzat will destroy you all. He can't even beat his own immune system. We knew he would bring up the central nervous system of, uh, <laughs> of Hamzat Chimeyev. The very weak central nervous system in ha of Hamzat Chimeyev. I wouldn't be surprised if Drikas Duplessis is going to give himself a cold in the build-up to his fight with Hamzat Chimeyev, just to get off a pre-fight sneeze and, like, make him a weakened version of himself. You know what I mean? Because one sneeze and Chimeyev is... 
Chimeyev's cooked after one sneeze, you guys. Yeah, I tell you. That's the biggest threat you can say to Chimeyev. I'll fucking sneeze on you, motherfucker. Either way. Can't even beat his own immune system. Cooked. Strickland got stem cells for the first time in his life for his motor accident last week. The belt is coming back. Should have had it in his brain many years ago, Drickus Duplessis says. How is Sean overrated? He literally beat Izzy out at the top of the top. If Sean is overrated, then why did Drickus need a robbery win to beat him? Why didn't DDP make the win clear? Why does that make DDP? Yeah, I finished him, so it makes him makes me better. He's saying literally beat Izzy top of the top. Literally, nobody thought Strickland was the next best guy. I have to agree with you on that one. You shouldn't even be the champion right now, buddy. This guy got a few of them. Man of Steel SA. Is that guy from South Africa, dude? <laughs> yeah, I know, but here I am, the best in the fucking world, built different. There's a few others that are way better than these. I just have to read all of them in case I miss one of them. Arguably not. Sean schooled Adesanya for five rounds straight, which was an impressive performance. I thought he lost round two, and round three was a competitive round. Just saying. He clearly won, put on a clinic. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here, guys. Okay? Um, Sean scored Adesanya for five rounds straight, which was an impressive performance. And that too in the striking realm, which nobody's ever matched Adesanya in. You literally lost a round to Adesanya. So I'd say Sean's win was better, but you did get the finish though. Yes, I know. That's why the fight was stopped by the referee after he tapped. This is all I read, to be honest. You're number two in the world. You beat Strickland's leftovers. Chinica and robbed Strickland. No shame in being number two, buddy. I see your frustration. Just remember there's not a number two next to my name. It's only a letter and it's C. That's for champion, of course. There's more. They get better. I'm trying not to miss ones, though. I should have picked out the perfect ones. Drick, as I heard today, this is all good. Enjoy that while it lasts. This guy's got all the beef with Drickus Duplessis, it seems, this guy. Enjoy that while it lasts, my friend. February 8th, to be exact. When you can't fluke a cut on Strickland and he beats you clearly, that number is going to look real nice next to your name. Maybe you can push for an Amavov fight and earn that trilogy afterwards, eh? <laughs> this guy is just... You know what I mean? It's kind of interesting. Then Drickus responds, and this is again where Drickus... This is again... <laughs> There shall be tears in the build-up of this fight, you guys. And they will be leaving Sean Strickland's eyes. This is again where Sean Strickland's dead dad has entered the firing line yet again. <laughs> okay, are you Strickland's father? Be honest. Because this guy has been tweeting a lot about Drickus. Are you Strickland's father? Be honest. He's not going to love you, bro. The damage has been done. He ain't forgiving you. Sorry. Strickland's dad is dead. I don't know if this is or not the ghost of Strickland's dad. But this is... I don't think he's typing this tweet through a fucking Ouija board. You know what I mean? This is... <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't, I don't want to get heat from Strickland either, dude. This is, this is a very sensitive topic to Strickland, you guys. And we're going there again in the build-up to this. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you, honestly, though? If you can have that mental edge in the build-up and Strickland has shown that that's his weakness. Strickland can make fun of Felipe Calares and his family when he died. This is fair game, in my opinion. If this was Drickus making fun of, like, if Wonderboy's dad died and he was saying some stuff, you know what I mean? Then it would be understanding. But Strickland has made fun of people that have died, literally died. Felipe Calares was the name of the fighter. I think this has always been fair game for a guy like Strickland. Um, you will lose the belt sooner. You will learn English sooner too. Pretty interesting there. Do as your, this is the woman, the poor woman who, uh, I say woman. We're still uncertain on this. The verdict is still out on the, uh, <laughs> either way. Do as you're told puppet. Jesus Christ, dude. Do as you're told puppet. She got a, Dricker spun the block on this one, guys. He came back around for seconds, as this woman has done many times in her life. <laughs> Do as you're told, puppet. Stylebender's going to take the belt back from either you or him anyways, so it don't matter. Enjoy your time as champ as it is coming to an end soon. Team Izzy, and he's laughing about this, and we'll get back to her in a second. And he said some gobbledygook in Afrikaans and uh, Yalmasi Pose and Chop Chop and all of this stuff. Um... Okay, and he said, so you have daddy issues too. You know what I mean? 
I was do- I was ducking and diving those kisses in South Africa, you guys. Trust me. They, they were lunging for me in that gym. I'm joking. They weren't. Um, don't be mad. I state facts. He is coming for you. Watch. Y'all must have forgot. No, I haven't forgotten. It was like 12 weeks ago I made him tap. DDP is just a windmill merchant. If I want to watch that, I can go and watch Street Beefs. You'll hear and new February 9th. Come on, bro. Nobody has ever called you buddy. It's not happening today, nerd. No way am I going to let some random Dutchman. Okay. We're getting into surname origins here, guys. No way am I going to let some random Dutchman talk to me that way. Those are fighting words, European. We'll take them. Only thing you're fighting is diabetes by the sound of it. Now, there is no picture of this man to suggest why Drickus Duplessis would know he is fat. He does, however, follow me on Twitter. Now, I don't know if this is how Drickus came to this conclusion or not. (laughs) But there is no evidence but the fact that he follows me on Twitter to suggest that this might be a fat person interacting with Drickus online. Then there's this cry if Drickus owns you. They're both crying. Howdy ha. And then this woman is... uh, The woman that was trash talking earlier. Let me take you back. Uh, She uh, kind of took the brunt of the... (laughs) He kind of zeroed in on this one. Holy shit, is that a man or a woman? And then he said, literally, ew. Missing a yuck at the end of it. That type of ew. Ew what? That is me and I don't hind it. I wouldn't fuck with you. Thank God. (laughs) And remember, Chimeyev and Sean were going at each other. This is where Drickers is channeling his energy towards. You're going to be ugly when you are crying after Izzy takes that belt, I promise you. Great comeback, seriously going to be ugly. Sounds like you're risen. Always the ugly ones. Gosh, she's just, just non-stop with this. Non-stop. And any, of course, we've already seen this one. Don't delete them, lol. Tell your boys to go play outside. They're going to get me banned off X. And I just got monetized. Monetized, I assume you take your payment in cheeseburgers. We're... We're... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. You know what I mean? As a member of this community uh, myself, I'm not far off the, her level here, okay? I can only aspire to, lev- to reach the, 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 the hip width of the great jaded heart for life. But either way, Drickers has taken his frustration out on her. And that was that part. How long did I spend reading through his fucking tweets? Either way. Duplessis Strickland 2. Zhang Weili versus uh, Tatiana Suarez, co-main event. Chimeyev's going to be there as a backup opponent. UFC 312 is covered. That's good to hear. We had no idea what was going to be the main event. Um, I imagine that JDM is going to be on the card against someone. I don't know who, though. Um, Because I don't know if any of these other welterweights are going to be like, oh, yeah, I'll take on JDM, and I'll go to Australia to do it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I think Usman could. Maybe Leon Edwards could. But I, I just don't know who's going to actually go. I think JDM isn't actually going to fight in Australia. I could see I could see JDM taking on Edwards in the London main event or taking on Usman in America instead because I don't know no one none of these big names at the top are going to want to go to his home territory to fight him. So I don't know what else is going to be on this card but I'm sure they'll stack it with some other fights. I'm assuming Tui Vasa will make an appearance and some other Australian names as well. Um but I think Drickus wins the rematch. I think mindset wise they're very different. Strickland has got this bitterness about him trying to get back what he lost. Drickers is trying to progress what he already has. I think that's a much better mindset. Considering how close the first fight was, I thought it could have gone either way. I don't see how people screamed robbery. I don't think this was like a Volkov versus Garn situation. I thought it was a very intricate fight to score. Um, I reckon Drickers wins. I think he can make the adjustments. And people say, uh, the guy on Twitter earlier said, that cut was a fluke on Sean Strickland. You fluked the cut and... You were going after him and fluked the cut and that that cut won't happen again. I don't know if Drickus Duplessis' eyes are going to swell shut after the first two minutes of round one again. And if they don't, I want to put it this way. Yes, you can say Strickland got cut in the fight and that's why they gave it to Drickus and visible damage did. They should have gone to the swelling of Drickus instead. Drickus Duplessis beat Sean Strickland in a razor-close controversial fight, whatever you want to say about robbery. He beat him with both of his eyes nearly swollen shut. I don't think the cut was the reason for Drickus' success. I think Drickus' success was the reason for the cut. You can say Strickland's success was the reason for the swollen eyes as well. 
But Drickus was fighting with those from round one onwards. Are both of his eyes going to be swollen shut at the end of round one in the rematch? Because even if they are, he still beat him the first time with both of his eyes nearly swollen up. If he gets a bit more time to work before any of that damage starts coming through, if that damage never starts coming through, because let's face it, it hasn't for a lot of other Sean Strickland opponents. It could be a lot easier for Drickus, you know? And I'd imagine his grappling's gotten a lot better because he just went through a training camp where that was his focus against Israel Adesanya. And also now he's got Hamzat Chimeyev on his radar as well. He was able to take down Strickland before. He's only going to be improving in that realm. I think that Drickus is going to win the rematch. Drickus, follow me back on Twitter, you fucking bitch. I'm sick of it. Okay? What's going on here, dude? I'm following me during the Nina drama beef, separating from the filth that I am. Come on, man. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. But I get it. Don't associate with me. Um, it's all good, dude. I'll forgive you. See you later, guys. Toodle pip. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I got another video tomorrow. Oh, we got a lot. Joaquin Buckley video uh, interview dropping tomorrow. And I've got another thing I want to talk about as well. See you later. Goodbye.